Hello, friends, and welcome to the Conscious Coping Club. I'm Lori Short Page, and I'm bringing my expertise as a psychotherapist, my baggage as a human, and my hunch that learning how to cope is going to be a lot more fun when we do it together. Today's episode is brought to you by the feeling of happiness. All that and more on this week's episode of the Conscious Coping Club, where we cope better together. Bum, 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 bum. Happiness, while universally sought, is experienced uniquely by each individual over time. It can be a feeling of satisfaction from a job well done, a sense of love from a warm hug, or the euphoria of an unexpected surprise. It's an emotion that holds immense power over us. It can influence our decisions, our relationships, and ultimately, our quality of life. However, happiness is not just a static state of being. It's an active process, one that requires nurturing and sometimes, oftentimes, intentional actions to support. Happiness is always desired, but its presence is often elusive, particularly when we find ourselves chasing or obsessing over it. As a clinician, I have always found the chase for happiness to be fascinating. Its subjective nature means that the journey to it is highly personal and often interwoven with challenges and the natural triumphs that come with them when we're paying attention and coping intentionally. However, one thing I also want to emphasize is that it's okay to not feel happy all the time. Actually, it's more than okay. It's typical. Our emotions are a palette, and happiness is just one of the many colors that we can use. What we are talking about here is learning how to embrace this truth that we're not always happy, and the expectation for us to be so is unrealistic and harmful so that we can cope more effectively with happiness and all the feelings. You may be thinking, but do I really need to cope with happiness? It's a feel-good emotion. What is there to cope with? Well, all of it. Feel-good emotions have just as much, sometimes more, impact on our state of emotional regulation than feel-bad ones. Regardless of the comfort, we have to embrace the feeling, and we have to learn how to cope with it. When we cope with it, we acknowledge it, we notice it, we capture it so that we can remember it. We squeeze additional joy from its memory and gain additional insights from its experience. Conscious coping isn't only about dealing with the feelings that give you the doom and gloom, but also about noticing and coping with the ones that give you butterflies and rainbows, because both are true. And speaking of both, let's talk about the fact that because we are complex emotional beings, a lot of those feelings of butterflies and rainbows also come with a side of doom and gloom, and vice versa. The thing is, we have to cope with a whole plate of feelings, no matter how much space they take up on the plate or how delicious they may be. Viktor Frankl said happiness must happen, and the same holds for success. You have to let it happen by not caring about it. Happiness ensues not because of our dogged persistence of it, but by what we do to support the likelihood of its emergence. See, we can't force ourselves to be happy, but we can build frameworks that support the organic appearance of happiness in our lives. And we also have to support frameworks that allow us to be present enough to see it, notice it, and ideally revel in it. For like any feeling, happiness is transient, a glimpse we get from time to time, a journey worthy of the outcomes of our desires. In your journey towards happiness, remember to take care of your mental health. Nurture it, protect it, and let it be your guide, for it will be what will show you how to support more happiness in your life. That's all for this episode of the Conscious Coping Club. Join me in this journey at ConsciousCoping.club, where we navigate the labyrinth of life together with intention, courage, and a sense of discovery. Make sure to like and follow for more great content. And until next time, don't just cope, consciously cope. Yeah.